Hey friends, welcome back to Codops Trek. Today, we are diving into an important topic in data integration that are ETL versus ELT. These are two powerful approaches that help businesses manage and analyze their data. But which one is right for you? Let's find out. First, let's break down what ETL and ELT stand for. ETL stands for Extract, Transform, Load. It's a traditional data integration process where data is first extracted from various sources, transformed into the desired format, and then loaded into a target system like a data warehouse. On the other hand, ELT stands for Extract, Load, Transform. Here, data is extracted and immediately loaded into the target system, where it's then transformed as needed. This approach leverages the processing power of modern data storage solutions. Now that we've explored what ETL and ELT are, let's talk about when you should use each approach. Choosing between ETL and ELT depends on your specific data needs, infrastructure, and the goals of your organization. So let's see when to use ETL. Use ETL when your data quality is paramount. If your business operates in industries like finance, healthcare, or any area with strict regulatory requirements, data accuracy and quality are critical. ETL is your go-to because it ensures data is cleaned and validated before it's loaded. Use ETL when you have to work with legacy systems. If you are working with traditional data warehouse or legacy systems that have been around for a while, ETL is often the better choice. These environments are usually well suited for pre-transformed data. Similarly, use ETL when you have smaller or structured data sets. ETL is ideal when you are dealing with structured data and smaller data sets that don't require the massive processing power of modern cloud platforms. Now let's explore when to use ELT. Use ELT when you have big data environments. So, if you are handling large volumes of unstructured or semi-structured data, ELT is better suited. ELT leverages the processing power of modern data warehouse and lakes, making it efficient for big data. Also, you can use ELT when you have to deal with real-time analytics. In industries like e-commerce, media streaming, or any scenario where real-time data processing is essential, ELT shines. It allows data to be loaded quickly and transformed on demand. Similarly, you can use ELT when you have cloud-based architectures. If your infrastructure is primarily cloud-based, ELT can save time and resources by using the scalability and flexibility of cloud platforms like AWS, Google BigQuery, or Azure. In some cases, a hybrid approach may be the best solution, where you use ETL for certain critical data sets that require high data quality, and ELT for others where speed and flexibility are more important. Ultimately, the choice between ETL and ELT should align with your business goals, the nature of your data, and the capabilities of your technology stack. To recap, choose ETL if your top priorities are data quality, accuracy, and compliance. ETL is ideal for structured data, legacy systems, and industries where data integrity is crucial. Choose ELT if you need to handle large data sets, perform real-time analytics, and take advantage of the scalability and flexibility of the cloud. ELT is perfect for big data environments and modern, cloud-based architectures. Remember, the best approach isn't one-size-fits-all, it's the one that best fits your organization's unique data needs and infrastructure. So, that's how you can decide the best-suited approach for your application. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update from Codops Trek. And if you are interested in learning more, check out the full blog post linked in the description, where we dive even deeper into the ETL versus ELT debate. You can also find more resources on our website.